What's up everybody, Alfonso here. Uh, I have gotten quite a few comments and questions about which keyboard I use. Um, so I was going to cover it in my apps video that I just posted um, a couple days ago. But I didn't think it was that big of a deal. I uh, figured most of you guys already knew about this app anyways. So I'm going to go ahead and go over this app in this video. Uh, this app is actually called Swift Key 3. Uh, I'll put a link in the description to where you can download it. Uh, it's in the Google Play Store. There's a free version. Uh, I got the paid version. It's $3.99. Uh, it's a great application, so I went ahead and got the free version just to support the developer. Um, as you can see, this is uh, one of the themes it has. And you know, you have a very simplistic keyboard, uh, your enter button, your your uh, delete button, space bar. If you want to do voice typing, you have the microphone there. You can hold this and you can get, uh, you know, the most commonly used, um, you know, question mark, period, que uh, comma, exclamation point, things like that. Um, also here, you, like I said, you hold for, you know, if you want to say something, if you want to use your voice to text. Uh, here you could hold down to get to the settings. Uh, it will pop up this little menu here. You have settings, voice input, support, or share. Uh, we'll go into the settings of this application. Uh, there's actually, you know, quite a bit of settings you can uh, tweak. First thing is languages. There's a huge support for several different languages. Um, so more than likely, you know, this application is going to have support for your language. Uh, I thought that was a cool feature. You know, some keyboards only support English and Spanish and like uh, a couple of languages, but this has a vast variety of languages that it supports. Personalization, uh, you can actually check these boxes here and it will learn the way you type. Uh, from your Facebook, Gmail, or Twitter, as well as RSS feeds, uh, SMS, uh, you know, there you can also um, clear language data that, you know, pretty much erases all your personal information. Uh, you know, I really like this feature. It's, uh, it's a great feature to have. It actually will help, you know, in the predictions of words and things like that. Themes. Uh, there's not a, a whole lot of themes, but there are quite a few. Uh, I have the dark theme. Uh, we can look at the, the hollow theme. Go ahead and go here, and as you can see, this is that theme. Uh, basically, they all have the same layout, uh, but they, you know, the changes the colors and uh, things like that. We'll, we'll go ahead and take a look at another one. Neon, for example. As you can see, it... Uh, kind of changes it has cool little themes to it uh, I prefer mainly the dark one so we'll go ahead and change that back real quick uh, you can also put this to show foreign characters and as well arrow keys uh, this enables all long press foreign characters so go back here and uh, you know this long press and as you can see the foreign characters popped up uh, so if you use you know a lot of those go ahead and do that and here's the arrow keys that I was talking about uh, this actually makes it really easy to go back to a part of a text uh, without having to try to get it, you know, perfectly uh, where you're trying to get it. Sometimes that could be hard. I don't really use either one of those, so I mean, I tried with the arrows, but I had already got used to typing on, you know, the regular layout, so you know, it didn't work well for me. Uh, you can change your your typing style if you're precise uh, or if you're rapid. Uh, spacebar, you can change the settings of the spacebar, insert a space, complete current word, or insert a prediction. You know, quick uh, double tapping the spacebar, that will insert a period. Uh, auto caps, haptic feedback, you can turn it on or off. Uh, voice recognition, long press, duration. Um, you know, you can change all kind of different features of this keyboard. Um, you know, Bluetooth keyboard. This is the part that I, I really think is cool. Uh, Swift Key Stats. Go ahead and click on that. And as you can see, it tells you... Uh, first off, it shows you a heat map. It basically, uh, once it loads up, it shows where your fingers hit the screen around that you know, specific letter that you're trying to hit. Like, as you can see, T-R-E, my, my thumbs are all the way up, and it's like not even really touching the button. Um, so that kind of gives you an idea of where your thumbs are hitting. Uh, efficiency, 
You know, it says you're 30% more efficient at typing things to SwiftKey. Keystrokes saved, it shows how many keystrokes it saved you uh, by either putting predictions or correcting you, things like that. Typos corrected, 3,940. You can see I make a lot of typos because I text really fast. 21 words predicted. I don't really use that feature too much. Um, I usually, you know, have typos. So words completed, 2,448. So as you can see, this app is extremely, extremely helpful. Um, it also has a section for how-to videos. It will take you to their website. Support, um, if you want to contact support about anything. And then it has a little about Swift key. Um, so I'll go ahead and give you a demo of this keyboard. Uh, let me go ahead and focus in for you guys. Quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. So as you can see it kind of tries to predict your words. Uh, as you can see you can pretty much um, you can pretty much write a whole text message with the predictions. Uh, so I mean I rarely use that feature but it is nice to have. So uh, once again guys this is Swift Key 3. Uh, like I said there is a free version but I strongly recommend downloading the paid version it is $3.99 in the Google Play Store but I absolutely recommend this app it's great um, it helps me so much throughout the day uh, I make a lot of errors I don't have to go back and correct them so go ahead check this app out if you like this video guys please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more great videos on the way uh, I am trying to get some more products to do unboxings and things like that so just bear with me um, and I appreciate all your guys support I'm out. Peace.